Hi, it's Gwendolyn at Lifestyle So. Uh, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> Early in the morning it is actually here. It's actually red hot in the UK um, at the moment. <clears throat> right, I'm going to do uh, a quilt, but really what I'm going to explain today is not how to make the quilt. It's how to do the applique for the quilt on a machine. So therefore, I don't mean the turn that, um, this is chicken salad um, by Laurie Holt. Let me get, get it to you. There you go. You know, it's a very popular quilt. So most of us, most of you probably um, who are in the applique world well, I've all, probably already bought this, but some may have not bought it because of the sizing of the birds. These are, these are big birds. Um, so you may think, well, okay, my machine doesn't do that. But I'm here to tell you, it's not true. It is not true. But you can alter the size of the bird. and um, But it does give you a smaller bird. So therefore, the actual, when you, you're, you've put your bird on your material, you can rather cut out the same size that it says in this pattern, which will give you loads of space around it. So you can rather add more chicks or you can add a coop or something. So if you're doing a, a small bird, a very small bird, then you might want to put a few more birds in. Instead of making 12, you might want to make 24, or something like that. Um, it's a, up to you, that's a design element but I'm just really letting you know that you actually can change the size of the bird which I am going to show you how to do it I'm going to show you the process that I ended up doing to start with you get this pattern from uh Laurie Holtz or Riley Blake's website it's free basically so you downloaded it I've laminated it um and then I put it in a ring binder and that so I can just flip through and that be any old way and it's uh, it's not you know I can really I don't have to take me really care doing it but I will tell you that this pattern is very confusing very confusing which really surprises me but obviously it's not confusing to everybody because they make the quilt it gives you it gives you what you need to do for the quilt itself for me this quilt is extremely busy um, so I'm going to tone that down a bit myself um, but let's get on to how I ended up, what I ended up with, or going to end up with. First of all, this is Hattie. Now this is the size of the bird. Now I normally cut out two lots on one, so I've got Hattie and I've got Prudence. So Soft and Sheer is the stabiliser that we're using. And the backing you're gonna put on your fabric or your um, bird fabric, your chicken fabric, is heat and bond um you can get different makes that do the same job so if you want to shop around um and this it works perfectly and it works every time um so heat and bond is good for me i've got two of these i've got two of these and for the actual um cutaway i've used soft and sheer it's silky um soft and sheer and and I've got it in this length and I, yeah, I do have to double it over to put it on and then also on top of that I do have a little bit of a more heavier stabiliser just to do the words for the embroidery and they're the things I use for that so when I originally I had my scanning cut so I drew out every, but you have to buy the shapes, uh, Laurie Hall shapes. Um, so that's the thing that you're going to buy really is the shapes and the pattern comes. So you're buying the sh shapes. Um, so this is Cornelius. So every bird, what how I did it, every bird, I put as many parts as I could on an A short four sheet of paper for each bird. But some birds, their parts couldn't fit on it, so I had to put it on another sheet um, because, you know, they're, they're quite big birds. I mean, it was about an hour, uh, over an hour, sitting down, drawing around each bird. And I did mark each bird for me. That's for my reference, really. 
um, what number, what the bird was, and whether it's an M4, each shape has a different number. So I put those down. That will all, when you, you go on to the actual software, that all gets basically deleted off. When you go to your scanning cart, you scan this in on a non-sticky mat, each thing. As soon as you scan it in, it will, it will create uh, the FCM file that's sent back over to your um, Brother Canvas. Brother Canvas is free for anybody. You do not have to have a Brother machine. I've got a Benina machine that I'm using at. Um, it's for anybody, so you just sign up for it and it's free. And uh, and that you can use that for all sorts of things. So if you're into a PK, you need to download that anyway. Very, it, It's quite easy to learn. You're probably not gonna use most of it until you know you go to do different things but majority of the things that are pretty basic that you're going to be doing so it'll be fine um <clears throat> so scan all of these in so now these you, you can either electronically send it over or put it on a usb i actually put mine on a usb although i could electronically send it over to my uh, computer because it well it's not the computer you're sending it over to brother canvas this which is cloud, by the way, you're sending it over to cloud. Cloud gets it and then puts it back into Brother Canvas. Um, so that's that's as easy as that. But I actually put it on a USB, a Disney, a Disney scanning cut. So I have probably the top of the range in the UK at the moment, scanning cut. So that's that. So you prepared all your birds on this. Um, at the moment, I'm not cutting anything. OK, I'm just scanning it in but you could cut it at the same time. So you could scan this in, and then you could cut every individual pieces out while you've got your scanning cut out. But I suggest you test that first, because you don't want to scan, I scan two birds in and cut two birds out. And one was Hattie and one was Prudence. Prudence did not go according to plan. Hattie was a complete fluke that I actually got it on the machine. Um, and the reason why is when I, uh, I actually completely made up Hattie and, and I saved it and I saved it to the hoop that was already on Simply Applique. So I did sort of like my, uh, a little bit of work in Brother Canvas. Then I sent it over to Simply Applique. Now I'm from the UK. It's not, it's hard to get a hold of Simply Applique in the UK. Believe me, I tried. Um. But it really doesn't make any difference because you just uh, go on to all brands site in the USA and it's a download. Um, I, I did the downloaded version and then you have to wait a couple of days. I don't know why you have to wait a couple of days uh, to get the code. And then you put the code in and it opens up Simply Applique. Now, that's a must if you haven't got any of the, um, the big softwares. If you've got big software like... Um, you know, say, say like um, Art or, you know, Benina, or you've got the Brother software, or you've got something like that, it will have an applique, application into it. Um, I've got Wilcom Hatch. I actually have got a complete software. But the reason why I bought this was because it was just one little package all in one thing. I didn't have to open a great big... Um, get confused in all the different bits and pieces. I just want to be confused in one section and it's very easy to learn, really is easy to learn this. Um, so I'll show you that, the bits that you need as you go through. You're gonna be amazed, amazed. Um, it was, I got it on offer for 20% less, um, the deal with it doing, so I think I paid 170 for it. Something like that, as opposed to 200 and odd pound. Once you get to the stage where you want to cut out and you get all your fabric and you're ironing on your heating bond, which is, it's it's like white paper put on the back. But when I peel this paper off, this fabric will be all shiny because you know then you've got the right, it's right. Because that, on the, can I do it on this? She says, there you go, see, can you see it? Sort of like shiny. You know that the glue has gone from this paper onto your fabric okay so all the extra bits um because i originally remember cut out two birds on my scanning cut 
so I had some wastage. So all the bits of wastage that uh, I feel as if I can use again goes into a box and that's my applique box. And, um, and there you go, there's one bird. And that one bird, I actually cut out wrong because I missed a fraction off it. Well, that would be okay if I downsized it because that wouldn't make any difference. But it's Hattie and it turned out fine. And I had the big magnetic hoop that you have, the biggest you can get for Benina machine. There's not a lot of tension on that. Um, it's not my favorite thing because I think the small magnetic hoops maybe are better to get the tension, but big one, there's actually a big floor space to try and get that tension right. And to me, it, it's very floppy in the middle, but um, it wasn't that that was the problem, bizarrely enough. It was when I saved it, I saved it um, in the Simply Applique and to the biggest hoop that they, it's just, a, it's a, an automatic hoop. So you save it to that, or you can choose a hoop to save it to. So I say, saved it to their hoop, if you like, the biggest hoop they had, which was only one that I got um, to save to. And in it stitched out Hattie, and that's fine. And I had a lot of mistakes with Hattie because I had, first of all, I had the eye in the wrong place when I did just, so I had to go back, stop it, go back down, redigitize the eye, it, well, not redigitize, move it um, into the right place and things like that. So, and um, then I had a bit of a problem when I stitched it out. Um, I cocked up the last letter. I don't know what happened there. I think um, it got cocked up. So I had to unpick it and then I tried to sew it in myself, which is, it's quite a blob on the end. It, I mean, it looks okay. Anybody that didn't sew would, wouldn't even notice probably that, but it, you know, I do. So I don't want that. So then I tried, I thought, oh, I'm pleased with that. I'll go on to doing Prudence. So I'll go on to do Prudence. And that's fine. But what the, so, but the machine was now outside its perimeter. Because what I did was when I went in, I thought, oh, I have to put it into my machine size. So I put it into my machine size, my biggest size, saved it. And, and of course, now it's outside the hoop. So I didn't, oh, okay, outside the hoop. I'll just see how far I'll go and maybe I'll just hand do that. So I just missed off a tiny bit of the wing and basically the actual beak, half of the beak got missed off. And um, so it's, and that was my original plan to do that. I thought, well, this can't be flipping right. I tried always to get that prudence into the right size and I couldn't get that into the right size on the machine. I just couldn't get it down. So, so I left it for a few days. Now we're talking about hours and hours and hours of work um, just to get to this stage. Um, so I was really disappointed. And then I sort of like through the night, you know, you, it goes in your brain. Well, that can't be flipping right. I'm sure my machine takes it down. So I went back to my machine with my prudence. And uh, and all you do, or you literally, all you do, I, I, I didn't think it would do it actually because it's, it's like separated, isn't it? You've got, you, this is the text and this is the applique that's created. And, um, but literally the design comes up and this is the most important thing. The design comes up and you can turn it 20% down or 20% up without it interfering with the stitches, without it distorting the stitches in any way. If you like, if I was to go 30% or yeah, 30% up, say, um, it, these stitches, instead of having, I don't know, say 100 stitches an inch, you would basically be getting, say, 100 stitches an inch and a half, and there would be a loop, you could see through them, and it wouldn't be very nice. So that's why you stick to the 20% rule, up or down. I turned it, took it down 20% to fit in the hoop. Perfect bird. Obviously, they're smaller birds. Um, I now do, did Beatrice. And I did a couple of others. Where's the others? I did um, Penny and Myrtle. And I did just two birds at the time because I'm going to cut this into the right block size later on. So now I've got four birds that are absolutely, I mean, that's crazy, isn't it? So I thought to myself, well, hang on a minute, you know, 
we've got this software. This software is bound to have taken, bound to resize these birds because everybody was saying, oh, you can't get it in that hoop. You've got to get it in this size hoop. That's very true. If you want to do this pattern with the correct size bird, then you do have to have the biggest hoop and that you've got. But I couldn't get um, that working when I reverted it back to the normal size hoop on the Simply Applique, the original, you know, when I did Hattie, it, it, it scanned out. Um, I tried to do it, it just didn't work um, at all. Um, so, but uh, the ruling is, is if you wanna just, my birds are smaller for the actual design, but it makes no difference to me whatsoever. I'm gonna cut my blocks exactly the same size that she's got, um, that Laurie Hawk's got in her pattern. So everything else is gonna be the same, just I've got a smaller bird. Now, if you wanted to, if you've got like a, I don't know, a five by seven hoop or something like that, then you're gonna get a very small bird. Um, but it should be able to be done um, on your brother canvas. So that's where we're gonna take that size bird down going to save all the parts to that size bird then you're going to send it over to um well you're going to save you're going to scan it in first of all we are scanning up our things we're going to say say send it to brother canvas we're going to take it down to whatever size you want which will be um you can create a size that you want it to be like a five by seven or you can take it down 20 percent 30 percent 50%, whatever you want. It's going to take it down that size. Then we'll send it over to Simply Applique and that's where you're going to work on your bird to put all the parts together and to press the button to turn it into a Simply Applique. Um, so that's all the, so whatever size machine hoop you have, you can create that size. Now, I think what would be quite good, think, bearing in mind all machines will downsize the embroidery whatever you want it will all go down like 20 percent probably um you know I, I suspect that's very universal if you've got an embroidery machine it will allow you to drop that size down to a different size I am really pleased with my 20% birds. Actually, I like my 20% birds that are far, far better than I like Hattie, the original one. Isn't that bizarre? So there's no point me going back and redoing all the work and everything. So I just took it down on the Benina machine, down 20% to create my birds. That's all I did, is take it down 20% to create my birds. The difference is, this is a huge difference, that my birds, I've done it manually. All of my birds have been done manually. So, so, I mean, in the sense that I've got no chickens cut out with a scanning cut. So if you don't wanna, if you wanna do it exactly the same way as I'm doing it, you can do exactly the same process and you don't have to use um, heat and bond behind it or anything. So you can just scan them into your computer, bring them into Brother Canvas, and then reduce the size. And then when you save them, you save them in a certain, you save, as soon as you save them, and you're sending them over to Simply Applique, that will create the SCM file. Um, so you don't have to send it to the scan and cut and bring it back again. But it won't have any, so the bird is gonna be a lot softer. This bird is a lot softer, like, you know, it really is a lot softer than having this bird that's got all the, um, simply the, the glue on the back, because that, that bird's a lot harder, like, like really crispy, a lot harder. Uh, that's nothing to do with the backing. The backing is super soft. The stabilizer is super soft. That's to do with the glue on the back. So I've already scanned this into the full size full size and uh, because my hoop on my banana is um, big this is a big hoop on here and it's a maxi hoop so I'm using a maxi hoop 
and take it down 20% on a maxi hoop uh, is absolutely fine. If you want to use another hoop, you haven't got a maxi hoop, and you want to take your bird and make smaller birds, basically, then you can do that, but then you will have to alter the size. So I'm going into that. I need to go into my USB to different things that I've got. Chicken salad folder. And there, some of the birds that I've already put on. Um, just to make sure I don't do something I don't didn't do before. So let's do Percy. All chicks are going to be done exactly the same way, regardless of what. So there's, you only need to be shown this once. So we're going to go to Percy because I know I haven't done Percy. And you see he does not fit into the jump. Oh, the jumbo hoop. That's you can put a jumbo hoop on or a maxi hoop on the Benina 790. But it will only sew out to the maxi. So it's just like to have maxi shown. OK, so we come out of that. And it's showing it's still not in there. So I'm going to go into information. For everybody's machine, you're going to have something very similar to this. It's showing just one bird and everything's on there, like the Percy and the bird itself. I'm just going to go into this little square box. and I am just going to reduce it down to what I need. As soon as, that, as soon as it goes white, that means it fits in the hoop. Um, but it says 93% and all my birds are at 80%, uh, 80, 81. So I need to, my birds are 80% or you might have to go down to 79 um, for something for another bird. But this is, bear in mind, this is for a maxi hoop. So if you had a smaller hoop, then you would have to, you would have, and this is 20% down. It's just got, you know, you've got room to play with. Anything um, other than that, you're going to have to really change it on the uh, Brother Canvas. Right, now do remember, I've hooped up now. I've got that lovely light stabiliser. It's a cutaway on the back. With a Benina, I'm sure with all other mo modules is too, you need to just press... So this rim here is slightly proud all the way around. So just go to your thing. So once you push it down, push it all the way down, just a little bit, all the way around. So it's poking out the back a little bit. That also puts extra tension on your thing. So you've got a nice, put it here too, okay? So now, Ready to hoop up. Okay, so let's have a look what this is, look, this is saying. I'm trying to get it that we, we see a bit of... It's all or nothing with this machine, isn't it? It's the way I've got it set. If I have it back like that, maybe I can see a bit of stitching as well. Okay, so we've got Percy in. He's on Maxi. Let's change the foot again because I literally changed some settings. Okay, so once I've um, if I've come out of that to do, once I'm I'm happy with all the settings that I've got here, I then I'm going to press the um, needle, and that's going to say it's going to move it into the right position. I'm going to press OK, and I'm just gonna have something on the back to make sure. I click this back now. What's really important here is this this wastage extra material not wastage but extra material i need to really just click back because i have had problems in the past where i've took my eye off the ball and it's slipped underneath and it's completely stitched it so this is just a hair um grabber thing right now i know it's gonna uh, it's gonna um print out the feet first which is yellow Okay, so it's showing you number. It's 44 minutes to sew, but it won't be 44 minutes because you're gonna, you, you take it off and you cut it each time. And if you were doing um, chickens that had the heat and bond on the black, you would take it off and you would iron it each time. So it's the same. So you need to add 30 minutes to that. And just take the end off.
Now, I welded the feet together, so there's no, so all you would have to do is put a little piece of material, if you want to do the, the feet, you put a little piece of material over that, and then it would tack it down, take it off the machine, cut round it, and voila. But I, to me, it's, I, I'm not bothered about that. I just like the embroidery look of the chicken feet. So it's going to do the next, I could have taken this next layer of stitches out, to be honest, but I didn't. Because it always gives me that, me that um, option to put applique feet in. Now, I'm going to do the overcasting. Don't we just love embroidery machines? I'm going to take two minutes, look. Two minutes, 42 for the whole uh, palava. Hold a plique <laughs> palava. And uh, I could make it go faster, but there's no need because that's dense stitches. So I wouldn't want to make it go faster with dense stitches. Uh, that's satin stitch. It would, it, satin stitch needs, you know, a little time to breathe, let's put it that way. And it'll, it'll go fast and slow to its own need. I also welded the beak together. So I'll keep all of these like this with all the different birds on and see what Percy looks like. He's not on this sheet, so he's on the next sheet. And Percy's here. And it just gives you an idea what uh, colours you want to use. So that's a, a, a good idea. Uh, this is the stage where it's put a, um, a placement line. So this is the stage where I am going to actually do my tail feather. And this is not a Laurie Holt um, piece of fabric. Don't worry about this, I'm just going to be putting... I'm just going to put away that fabric and now you have to take it off the machine at this stage. So you hold it quite flat as you lift it and you pull a, put a little uh, tension on that. And you need to go right into that corner if you can. It would just feel like you're cutting it but if you're holding that flat down and when you put a bit of tension on it you get a nice little and that's that's pretty good. Maybe that could do with a little bit of but you could, you know, if you've got really, you really do need a scanning cut. If you've got very intricate designs or you've got, um, you know, something really fine to cut in and out of all the time. I mean, for me, that's a, a no-go. It, it put me off. I love embroidery, but it put me off that turning and sitting and hand stitching. Oh, my good God. No, that's not for me. And... Um, but the scanning cut is so, so easy to actually get everything cut out. You can make really, really complicated stuff and uh, it looks like you've done it and, and you've had a little help. It's like colouring your hair really, isn't it? You look fantastic, but we all know. As you can see what it is. Have a look, see it's not directional, this, um, and mine's not, so. Just stick it over like that. Oops, nice. Right, the bird should now come. Yes, it is. It's showing you the bird's going to come. it up just make sure you cover that stitch make sure that out like that always try and do it that I don't waste too much material attention on it 
you're almost using, using the sharp knife bit of the actual rather than well, I've got a lot of nice quilts that I'm going to be doing I might share those with you as well along the journey put a little bit of this on make sure when I get it so I don't lose it there you get. It's nothing worse than you've put this on and then you've missed a bit off and it comes over the other side. Just take that thread off. Oh, gosh. I'm glad that's happened. Look what's things, and you definitely want to get rid of that thread there. So it stitches it in. And get rid of the thread. I think there's one bird I like to take down 79%. But you know, 1%. I mean, that's here and there. Voila, so there we go. And I'm just gonna I'll just do So there you go. So there's he made up. He's made up pretty nice. That's that little thing there. I thought it was a thread, but it's not. It's actually part of this. Part of the material. So that's fine. My, my office is a bit of a mess, isn't it? Well anyway, that's the end of the uh, video. Um I hope you enjoyed it or at least got some value from it, um, some ideas from it. Um, the next video will be um, purely basically taking the bird down in Brother Canvas. So you're going to have a little bit of talk on the scan and cut, a little bit of the talk on Brother Canvas and simply applique. So it's those three things that I'll be concentrating on. Um, so help you out. So if you find any value in this whatsoever, please subscribe, put, give me a thumbs up, give me notifications on the bell. Um, and that would be fantastic. Uh, any ideas that you want, um, that you feel, oh, actually, do you know about this? Can you help me out here doing on the, the scanning cut or whether it's Brother Canvas or that? Um, I'm here to help. I can do it. Um, so take care. I'll see you soon.